I am with uh, Kevin Scott, who is having his directorial debut here in Phoenix yep. at the Arizona Black Film Showcase, and I'm just want to welcome you to the Valley of the Thank Sun. You. This is so nice to have you here. I, I'm loving it. I'm I mean, the fact it. that this is your first film, you're showcasing it here. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people who are trying to get in the industry can, you know, actually come up and touch the director of the yeah. film after they see it. <laughs> maybe honored. ask you some questions. Exactly. So it's very cool. Thank you for being yes, here. I'm honored. I mean, we, we, we had fun making it. Uh -huh. And it's a lot of fun being here. Um, you know, of course, you know, a lot of people who have a higher caliber films as yeah. far as, you know, the budget is concerned. But I'm just glad that, we, you know, we're in the mix. You know? Well, it's interesting. Um, when I was looking at the title of your film it said hooker mm -hmm. and that first one track thing came to my of mind course, you know of course and i was like hmm i wonder how this movie's going to turn mm -hmm. out you know how it's going to be perceived but it's not anything like the title in general because no. you can automatically get you know your preconceived ideas yeah, it's a play on words so, yeah. to, so to speak and the yeah. cool thing about it is i think you're the only one in the showcase who is doing a silent film that's exactly right and what we decided to do was just have it just a little bit different you know make mm -hmm. a little artsy fartsy you know yeah. you know for everyone because i think um, just going into the whole studying background of silent films, okay. I realized that, you know, it's a motion picture. Mm -hmm. Motion picture first. It's moving pictures. Yeah. You know, so we should capitalize on just, you know, allowing the audience to kind of create their own story. We're okay. still telling a story. Oh, exactly. But, you know, just still give them their own opportunity to say, okay. you know, okay, I think this is what's happening. I think this is what's happening. And then at the end, it kind of all ties in. Now, now, just a little bit of piece of information for okay, you. Okay, here we go. Um, in 2003, uh -huh. we submitted a film called The Journey, uh -huh. and we won the Audience Choice Award. Nice. So, That's so always I, nice. So I you know, co-wrote that one, kind of, and I acted in that mm -hmm. one as well. So I kind of decided I'm going to go from in front of the camera to behind the camera. Is it an easy transition? or? I think it's easy because you know what the actors, what they need and what they want. Okay. So and I think if you've never been an actor yeah. or have you ever been in that in that situation you know you just just barking out orders you know exactly. but if you know like hey you know what you've been there do done it that. this yeah. way do it that way you know you know what less of this more of that you know okay in, instead of just so it probably made your job a little bit easier yes. coming from you know being in front of the camera first definitely. and you were definitely in front of the camera i understand you did some modeling yeah did some modeling did some stuff back east and you know and then uh did some stage performances and nice related with some national you know tours and things like that so Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, no, right? No, you get every, your hand in a little bit of everything yes, and parlay it into something exactly. else. Exactly. Well, let's talk about your movie because um, is this a part two of a three-part series or is there more to come? It's actually part three of, part of, of four parts. Okay. But this is actually only our second film that's been completed. So we're still it's a Working work in on, progress. Yeah, so yes. at least there's more to come. Yes, definitely. So and it tells the story and everything won't be uh, silent. Okay. I was going to say, and because it is a silent film, I'm just trying to picture in my mind for the actors how difficult it is because it takes... The story is about two police officers who mm -hmm. have this ugly past. Yes. And I'm thinking normally cops, you know, they're aggressive, they're they're talking, yeah. they're loud, you yeah. know, they're trying to get their point across. Exactly. And so how was it was it difficult for them to translate by using just facial expression and body language without any dialogue to get no, this film done? Actually what we did, we just had um, we had a script. Okay. So we let the actors read the script mm -hmm. and get that emotion and that feeling going on. Okay. And we kinda told the story. We told the full story to them okay. we from a to z the, all four parts and just so said, they can put a concept so they can have mind. a concept exactly okay. and then just let them know that hey there'll be no dialogue in this one mm -hmm. we we're just going to just flat out act it out and then we'll continue the rest Go from there so the process i'm taking has been a joyous one for you. oh yeah it's been fun because i always wonder with independent films because you don't have the budget right. and a lot of people don't have you know the resources so they rely on their cousins mm -hmm. their friends their exactly. family makers to make this movie exactly so was that your experience as well do you oh, have yeah. like you know other friends in the business yeah, we, that you can help we had with? some friends um we actually have a friend of ours that's a uh a school teacher so we use the school on the weekend for, oh, nice. to, to cast you know do the casting call okay so we opened up the school and um, you know we found who we wanted within that one day okay and everything just worked out well I'm glad it worked out I'm glad you're here in Phoenix oh, the yeah. movie is hooker this is Kevin Scott directorial debut here at the Arizona Black Film Showcase thank All you right. so much it's thank a pleasure. you thanks a lot